more Chevrolets keep running, giving service, while more Fords wear out and come to the end of the line. The actual scrappage figures for a recent period present a very startling picture. 1956 Chevrolets scrapped, 184,000. Fords, 302,000. 55 Chevrolets, 289,000. Fords, 375,000. 54s, 241,000 to 380,000. 53s, 381,000 to 455,000. In a recent seven-year period, over 595,000 more Fords were scrapped than Chevrolets. The reason for that isn't sentiment. It's value, basic, fundamental Chevrolet value. And now, today, in Chevrolet's best tradition, the full-sized Chevrolet lineup, extended, amplified, and spearheaded by the new Caprice models, represents the greatest value the automobile marketplace has ever offered. Now, let's get specific about features and proof and product sell that you can use for your 1966 Chevrolet. First, that incomparable Chevrolet ride. Nobody in Chevrolet's class has matched it yet. Chevrolet's sturdy frame and full coil suspension give it a smooth, solid, road-hugging ride that none of the others can approach. Just look at the difference as a Chevrolet and a Ford come over this ride. The Ford's wheels go clear off the ground while the Chevrolets remain solidly planted on the road. That famous Chevrolet ride was never better. To prove it, show your customers the balanced coin demonstration. It's a real test of Chevrolet ride. Chevrolet not only rides better, it has a shorter turning diameter and quicker, more responsive steering. Try that with a Plymouth VIP. Inches difference gives Chevrolet a real advantage over Plymouth. Here's a test to demonstrate a Chevrolet quality advantage. Try it first on a Ford LTD. Now try it on a Caprice. That Caprice body is solid as a rock. Here's another demonstration, proving that Chevrolet quality is more than skin deep. Heavy, sound-deadening insulation under the hood of the Caprice. None under the hood of the Ford LTD. None under the hood of the Plymouth VIP. Again, Caprice quality where it counts. Now another test. With sensitive sound metering equipment set up outside this Ford LTD and a microphone inside, we're going to try an experiment. With the door open, the sound level as heard inside each of the three cars we'll be testing is a little over 0.9. With the door closed, the sound level on this Ford LTD drops to 0.2. Next, the Plymouth VIP. With the door closed, the sound level again drops to 0.2. And now the Caprice. With the door closed, the sound level as heard inside the car drops to a trifle over 0.1. Nearly 90% of the outside noise has been sealed out by the extra soundproofing in the Caprice. Anybody can build a more powerful engine if he doesn't care how much gas it uses. But Chevrolet does care. Here's a test to give you the lowdown on fuel economy. 